So Hugh, great to be here chatting with you today about the buyer inquiry process. And look, I think sometimes it can be neglected as opposed to really put on the agenda. So it's great that we're having the conversation. Mm -hmm. um, what's your overall view around, about, around buyer inquiry and that whole process? Sure. Um, a lot of agents, um, not, not, not inside Marshfire, but a lot of agents uh, are competitors. Uh, kind of view buyer inquiry as a, a little bit of the, a secondary mindset for themselves. Yeah. Um, they, they see that as a little bit of time wasting and not a dollar productive activity for themselves. Yeah. Um, you know, with buyer inquiries, these can end up becoming some of your best clients. Um, Absolutely. And particularly, you know, when you're in real estate, you've got to be playing both the short and long term game. Mm. Um, particularly long term clients, um, buyers who might not necessarily have a property to sell now, you know, two, three, five, ten years in the future, yep. they're going to have a property. And if you have managed to, you know, service them where you're the, I guess, the forefront of their mind when they come to sell their property, um, and you've done, done all the right things for them, then then more often than not, you're um, you know a very good prospect or opportunity to secure the business. Absolutely. So so really, there's there's the um, there's the OFI follow up process and so on, and then we've got buyer inquiry, uh, be it a phone inquiry or, or be it off either the Marshall White website or one of the portals driving traffic in. So that's what really we're, we're talking about. Um, and I think you're right, a lot of agents can say, well, that's secondary or let me not even worry about that. Uh, and some of the stats from realestate.com.au point of view mm. that they talk about as to the response time of those emails is pretty on the, the low side. Mm. So let's assume you've got a, um, someone's calling you, what are you looking for in that call? I guess that the key with any buy is making sure you qualify them. Um, and and the important thing about qualifying them is make sure that you're not going to be wasting your important time yeah. um, on a buyer who might not necessarily be, um, I guess, the right fit for yourself mm. or the right fit for your market mm. um, moving forward. You need to qualify them um, in terms of, I guess, time frame in which they've been looking. Yeah. Are they an active buyer? Are they ready to go in this short time frame? Are they more a passive buyer looking for a particular type of property? Yeah. Um, in terms of have they performed on a property before, that's probably one of the key features of, of an important buyer if you're going to be following them up. So perform for you is, is. they bid on a property, they, mm -hmm. they put the hand up under auction conditions or they put offers on a property and they were either gazumped or missed out on the property. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So Fantastic. Someone who has, has performed before, who has unfortunately missed out. Um, but they are, I guess, learning that experience and they're getting closer to finding that. They're, you know, they're keen, which they're, probably means they've got their finance in place, uh, they're getting clear on what they, what they want. Yep. Uh, and that qualification process effectively means you can put the right channel of communication in there. This is a, a fast track because mm -hmm. they're, they're cashed up, they're ready to go, they're a hot buyer. Yep. Uh, or we might uh, shift over to more of an email strategy and so on. But keeping in mind, I like what you said around building your database and playing the long game mm. uh, with these people. Um, so that's someone calling in. What about if you get an email inquiry off, off one of the sites? Sure. So with any of the inquiry that comes through, love to get back to it within the day it comes through. Yep. Um, you know, one of the constant feedbacks that comes from, from people, uh, buyers you speak to, people who inspect your properties, is the lack of response from agents with inquiries. Yep. Um, if a phone call comes through, we'll make the call, ideally within the next couple of hours. Um, with email inquiries, I'll do that as my last job of the day before I leave the office. Great. Um, ideally with my response, I, I really want to get on the phone if possible yep. so I can qualify the buyer, yep. find out I guess where they, they're at in terms of they're looking at if they are a serious buyer. Yeah, but there's a lot of those that come in, that, mm. that arrive without, an, without a phone number. So it's not uh, hear all the complete details, my phone number and so on. Yep. What do you do if you just get the email address and they're asking a, a question or something along those lines? Sure, so I usually respond by asking them to please contact me to discuss the property further in regards right. to the price and any additional questions they have. So please call me uh, or can I have your number to, or what's a good time to, to connect yes. and call you? Okay, yep. good. Correct, now yep. sometimes you get some buyers who are you know, probably a little bit short with you and a little bit um, 
you know, they just want that answer in regards to price. Yeah. You don't want to upset them. So yeah. in those situations, you just provide the information and move on to the next So part. they come back and say, I just want this piece of information. Correct. And you'll, you'll just send that through to them. Yes. Um, and, and maybe after that also say, hey, any, anything you want help with, give me a call. I'm a phone call away. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Okay, good. Very much so. So let's say you're following up someone like that, and it's probably a good time that we do a little bit of a, a role play, if that's okay with you. Totally fine, Michael. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So assuming I'm, I'm one of those buyers that have called in on, on, on a property, mm -hmm. I, I'm, not, I'm still going to look a little bit away from you uh, because it's a mm -hmm. fine role play. Yep. So uh, ring, 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 ring. Uh, hello, this is Hugh Tomlinson speaking. Uh, oh, hi, Hugh. Uh, Michael Sheargold here. I'm, uh, uh, I've just seen and uh, driven past the signboard of the, the property at uh, 55 Huntington Road. Oh, fantastic. Um, how can I help? Uh, well, I'm just interested in, in, uh, in what's it on the market for? What's the sort of price expectations? Sure. So we are uh, currently have that going up to auction. Uh, it's going up on the 9th of December. We're okay. currently halfway through the campaign. In terms of uh, our current indicative selling price for the property, this is, uh, I guess, our agent's estimated range where we feel the property will sit. Um, we currently have a, a range of 2 to 2.2 .2 million for the property. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. If I may ask, Michael, um, have you been looking long yourself in the in the market at the moment? Well, look, we want to be in the in the school zone that obviously Hunting Tower fits in fits in, and it's a nice close walk to the to the school at the end of the road. Yes, and that's quite appealing for um, for us from a young family point of view. Okay, well, you're absolutely spot on. I mean, in terms of that access to that school and amenity, it ticks you know, all those boxes. Yeah. Um, have you seen a few other properties in the area recently? You, you've been along to maybe a few auctions? Yeah, yeah, I, I have been. There was a, uh, an auction with um, uh, one of your uh, competitors that we uh, we saw that was uh, 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 just off Kuyong Road. Sure. Uh, and that was a couple of weeks ago. Yep. Mm -hmm. And and it, were you you were there at the auction? Is that is that yes? Yeah, okay. we were. And yep. did you have interest in that property? Were you, were you bidding on the day? Yeah, we did. It uh, it pulled up a bit short. Uh, we pulled up a bit short in terms of the expectations of uh, of that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, and 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 just in regards to pulling up short, it was just didn't quite tick the box in terms of the, the property itself, or yeah, we felt it needed too much, uh, uh, a bit too much work on it for the price expectations that were sitting there. What sort of condition is this one in? So the property, I would probably describe it as comfortable, okay. but with some scope to improve. All right. Um, yeah. Very much the property where you could move the family in mm -hmm. um, and look to down the track in that kind of three, five year time frame, um, get some of, uh, I guess, your plans uh, in place to do some sort of renovation extension, a little bit of update in terms of the amenity internally. Yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, and it's open on... Uh so we'll be open on Saturday. We're okay. down there at 1 to 1.30. So um, are you available at that time? Yeah, well, I think I can make that happen. Okay, yeah. fantastic. So if you can pop down then, um, obviously show you through the property, um, see if that's going to be something that could uh, be of interest. Um, if it's not, then we can discuss a few other options in the area that might be suitable for yourself. Yeah, sounds good. So Michael, uh, are you in the area yourself at the moment? Uh, yeah, we are actually. Yeah. Okay, yeah. if you don't mind me asking whereabouts are you at the moment? I'm struggling with street names in, in this area now. <laughs> I was doing so well. Uh, uh, further, back, further down on High Street. So we, which suburb is this in? Uh, it, it's in Armadale. In Armadale. Okay, fantastic. Yep. And have you been there long yourself? Uh, yeah, we've been there about five years now, actually. Okay, and mm -hmm. you own there or you, you, yeah, you're renting? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Um, and you obviously mentioned you're um, looking at upgrading. Have you given much thought to... I guess would you look to be looking to secure property first or would you potentially think about selling first prior to upgrading? Look, uh, we feel we've got a good, good, good feel for what our property is worth and, um, uh, but we will, we will sell that one uh, mm -hmm. uh, when we buy it. We just don't want to be in that situation where we, we've sold and we haven't actually been able to secure something that, uh, that suits our needs. So we want to do it pretty quickly between the two. Okay. And are you... Um, if I may ask, are you speaking with anyone currently at Marshall White? No. Is anyone assisting you? No. 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 And I know a few people, here, but, but, but no one's actually looking after me. And have you had anyone come through and, and provide you just with an updated value where your property might sit in the current market? Uh, from Marshall White? Yes. No. Would that be something that, obviously, as part of our customer service, 
um, you know, provide our clients with an idea where they might be sitting in the current market? Is that something you might be interested in? Uh, yeah, that'd be good. So how about, how about we uh, catch up on Saturday and then uh, we, can, we can look at what, uh, what the next step is from there. Okay, sounds fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks, you. Appreciate your, your time. Thank you very much, Michael. Look forward to seeing you on Saturday. I look forward to seeing you on <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I know it's different. You know, role playing is always different in this in this uh, way than yep. than uh, than what it is when you're actually. That, that with wasn't someone. so much a. Um, that wasn't so much dealing with the bar and quarry or, uh, you know, in terms of um, lead generation. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, we know that there's a number of, um, you know, when people buy, they're going to sell. So whether it be two in 10, one in 10, there's, yeah. a, there's a high number of, of pipeline sellers wrapped up in there uh, well and truly. Correct. Um, well, we, I mean, we were discussing before, yeah, the two in 10. Yeah. Um, from your buyer inquiry is going to be, you know, listing, uh, you know, pipe A down the track. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and yeah. look, it might be it might be pipeline B, pipeline C. It might be six months away. Mm. But as you said, if you're playing the long game, yep. you want to you want to capitalise on those. And mm. and I think one of the things that we spoke about before we actually started the the, uh, the interview is that when you're a new agent within Marshall White, mm. by by starting to attach yourself to these buyers and seeing that as a key way of of really data building um, and and building a database for the long term, it's mm. it's a pretty cool component of that. It is. Um, I mean, over the last kind of three, three, four years, myself um, already with a couple of those buyers. One of the the first buyers I ever put in, you know, assisted and, and found a property for them in that first year. Yeah. The return business has already come around this year. Yeah. So yeah, that's fantastic. A, you know, a three, four year time frame. Yeah. Um, and plus the refer- referral business and the position that you own in the marketplace. You're the agent that got back to me. You're the agent that actually cared enough. And you know, I often say the level of service you offer the buyers is the level of service you're offering the vendor. Um, yes, because very much. Because when I appoint you as my agent, mm. I am looking for those particular points. I'm looking for, for someone to be treated well in the process of inquiring on my property. Mm, correct. Yeah. It's, um, you know, you're, if you can align your career with, I guess, the buyer's uh, own property career, um, you'll find that in the long run, you'll probably get multiple transactions, anywhere from five to 10 transactions through both your careers. And as you, you, you touched on, um, I guess, uh, external referral business to their family and friends, um, really, the sky's the limit. Yeah, that's awesome. And I love the way you say that, you know, mapping their property career or their property journey mm. with your career. What a fantastic way of uh, viewing it. Excellent. Absolutely. Any other tips you'd like to, to share around the whole buyer inquiry process? Just make sure you get on the phone, and qual- qualify them. Yep. Um, make sure that, and, and that's really the key point, make sure that you are following up um, people who are going to be um, not wasting your time, are really seriously active, performing buyers, and are going to be someone that you want to deal with moving forward. Yeah, fantastic. Well, Hugh, thanks very much for, for your time and sharing this and, and, and building the Marshall sure. White Way. Clearly, buyer inquiry is a key part of that process. So, thank you Fantastic. so much. Fantastic. Thank Appreciate you very it. much, Michael.